hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm gonna show us how to use the choose and the ex lookup lookup functions in a real business scenario so let's get started in our workbook we have three worksheets we have the customer quotes the price list and the discount matrix now in the customer code our company name is quick fix and this is our customer code sheet now we have this customer named midland store and they sent us this customer code intending to buy this product that has item listed here now in our own way of doing things we have what's called the order priority which could be critical high low medium or not specified now in column b we have op code that is order priority code so for every op code that is one we want to use the choose function to return critical and for every other priority code two we want to populate the i priority other priority and so on thereafter we're going to use the x lookup to return the product name based on the item code the category the price and then we're going to use the double x lookup to return the discount calculated value and then we use a simple formula here and then we use what is called the sum ifs function here to calculate our subtotal so let's do that now in our international price list in the table design contextual ribbon tab we have given price list as our table name so we have to put that in memory so that when we are writing the x lookup we don't have to come back here and in our discount category matrix we have used what is called named range so when i check here you can see we have discount named range that is visible in the name box now we also have other named ranges such as the discount category here which could be a b c or d and we have the customer category named range which could be bronze silver gold and platinum in the price list we're going to use the x lookup to populate the corresponding discount category in column d based on the lookup value that is the retail price and the lookup array and then we'll see which of the match type we're going to use so let's start off by coming to the customer code sheet now we want to start off in cell c now by the way this table here is already in an excel table so we expect the table features like the auto field to work for us so let's start off now i'm going to use the equal sign and deploy choose function now the choose function chooses a value or action to perform from a list of values based on an index number so we press the tab key now the first argument is the index number so i give the value in cell b6 now put in a comma so for value one for every index number that is one we want to return critical comma so for every index number that will deliver to behind we want to return for value two i comma and for value three we want to return low comma for value four we want to return medium and for value five we want to return not specified now we have to manually select all these values because when you select all of them with colon it's not going to work so you have to select them and put in a comma to separate so we need to make this to be absolute cell reference so i select the cases to k10 and i f4 key on the keyboard now it is now absolute cell reference so that when the formula is copied down this k6 to k10 would not behave as a relative cell reference so control enter and that's lovely we have for all the other priority one we have critical for other priority two we have i for other priority three we have low and so on so that is basically how we can use the choose lookup family function now let's now come to the big one which is the x lookup now for the product we want to fetch the product name so equal sign x lookup now this function it's available in m365 and office 2021 
I think. So it searches a range or an array for a match and returns the corresponding item from a second range or array. By default, it operates exact match type, which makes it to be more better off and superior than the VLOOKUP that returns approximate match type by default. So press the tab key. Now the lookup value, I want to look up this value, comma. Now for the lookup array, by the way, the name of our table in the price list sheet, as you have said, is price list. So I'm going to type in price list and then I open a square bracket and I'm going to point to the item code, press the tab key, close the square bracket, comma. Now for the return array, that is the specific column I want to return based on this lookup value and the lookup array, again, I'm going to type in the name of the table, which is price list, open the square bracket and I want to point to product column, close the square brackets. Now the if not found match mode and the search mode are optional arguments that we can forget about. So close off the X lookup and we can deploy enter or control enter and wonderfully we have returned the product name corresponding to the item code. Okay, now let's do for the category. By the way, I'm going to come back to the price list here. Now in the price list, we need to first and foremost populate the category. So let's do that quickly. And this is going to be the second X lookup formula. So equal sign X lookup. Now take this value as the lookup value. And for the lookup array, we want to get this list here that is sorted from smallest to largest comma and for the return i want to get this a b c or d and i'm going to make this to be absolute self reference by pressing f for key once then put in a comma for the if not found we're going to skip that comma or put zero now for the match mode by default the x lookup operates exit match but we need approximate match type which is exact match or next smaller item so i select the minus one and then for the search mode i'm going to forget about that close the x lookup control enter cool we have returned the corresponding category based on the retail price now let's just make sense of this just like the VLOOKUP. Now, this is retail price, 995. Now, by the time the X lookup is going through this lookup array and it's able to see that this is 1000, of course, 995 is less than 1000. So it moves back to zero and delivered the corresponding value in the cell to the right. Hence, we have a return. The same thing is 1695 retail price. As it is moving down, it's able to see 1000, which is fine. And by the time it's able to locate 10,000, it moves back up and it deliver the value to the right, which is B. So that's how X lookup and the, of course, the V lookup works. So let's come back to the customer codes and we need to go ahead and populate the customer um, column. So I'm gonna just split things up. I'm gonna borrow this control C to copy escape. And I come to the category. FC's cell FC's control V to paste. All I need to do is to make a little alteration to this and by typing in category, press the tab key, control, enter. Wonderful. So we have returned the corresponding discount category. Now let's do the same thing for price control V and let's just do a little modification by typing in price or retail price, control, enter. So we have returned the price, which is 19,795 for this item here. Now let's go ahead and calculate the discounts. So in this one, we're gonna use nested X lookup. So equal sign X lookup, the first one. Now the lookup value will be our discount category in column F comma and for the lookup array we want to look at the discount category named range comma and for the return array i'm going to nest the second x lookup and for the lookup value i'm going to type i mean click on cell i3 now i have a drop down here for the customer category so we can select either gold silver bronze or platinum from this cell i3 
F4K to make it absolute, comma, and for the lookup array, we want to look at customer category named range, comma, and for the return array, we want to look at the discount named range. I close up the second XLOOKUP and the first XLOOKUP and control enter. Wonderful. So we have calculated the discount. Now, when I change this to let's say uh, gold customer category, it automatically updates, which means our formula is working pretty fine. Now, for the discount, that's going to be the price multiplied by one minus the discount value. So equal sign i take this value here and i multiply by open parenthesis one minus the value in h6 close off the bracket control enter and we have returned the difference that is the difference based on this 9.5 percent from the price okay so this is our cost now let's come to this section cell l6 to l10 now in here we want to calculate the subtotal for our order priority now don't forget this block is for other priority that is critical and so on and so forth so let's calculate the subtotal for our level of order priority now to do that i'm going to use the sum ifs function which is one of my favorite function in excel which i believe some of you know equal sign sum ifs now the sum range will be this cost now this is a table feature i just look down for the black pointed arrow and i give it a single click comma now for the criteria range one i want to check this other priority many side comma and then i can select for the criteria one all these list critical to not specified that is k6 to k10 and this will spill the result to the neighboring cells below because i'm working in m365 close of the sub fx control enter 121305.28 now if we send this kind of invoice to this customer let's say they are good customer and they made payment will be running at last because we have not factored in the quantity so to factor in the quantity i'm going to come to this price column here and f2 to open the formula i can deploy multiplication sign and then i give this value in cell d6 control enter cool we can see what has happened i multiply all this x lookup formula with the quantity in cell d6 and that gave us the actual price we can see that the price is actually two fifty seven thousand dollars three thirty five okay because we have 13 units and we can see the discounts for the gold and we can see the cost that's the difference between the price and the discount okay so when i change to let's say platinum everything recalculates and then we can see that this is the value the total that the customer will have to pay us that is one million three twenty three thousand twenty five thousand five zero six now this does not take the ship cost into consideration so this is essentially how we can use the choose and the ex lookup functions in a real business scenario I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel because there is a lot to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.